All right. Give the miner elimination product of the following compound. All right, the name of this compound is 1R2S, 1 iodo 2 methyl cyclohexane. We're treating it with potassium terbutoxide and heat. It's a strong hysterically hindered base and we're adding heat so we're going to get an E2 elimination let's draw out the molecule so we put the I in an equatorial down position and the CH3 in a, no, uh, the I in an axial down position, the CH3 in an equatorial down position, so that it would be easy for us to uh, eliminate the I. So here's the potassium terbutoxide. It can go by two routes. It can take this H, and it can take this H, right? Creating a double bond here. This H would create a double bond here. Route A, route B. So what would happen, now this route, the double bond would form here and we would get a more substituted alkene, but we'd have to deal with the steric hindrance, right, because there's a CH3 molecule. And here, if we went this route, we would get a less substituted alkene, but we wouldn't have to deal with, we wouldn't have to deal with steric hindrance. Um, so, right. A, the path A, steric hindrance from bulky base makes the minor product. And then route B, you get a less substituted alkene, right? This is a more substituted alkene. It has one, two, three, but no steric hindrance. Right, less substituted, no steric hindrance. So, um, steric hindrance wins out over uh, substitution. Uh, substitute the most more substituted alkene.